Hi guys, so what we got today? Ah, the new Slash Jessica. <laughs> And also, please stick around because at the end of this is quite a long jam between myself and an old student of mine called Russ Gadgel. Now, Russ came to me at, uh, in the mid 2000s, age 11, and stayed with me till he was 18. And he was by 16 on a par with me, by 16 and a half, he was leaving me in the dust. And at 18, the great Joe Bonamassa invited him to play at our local arena with him and the late, great Bernie Marsden, who we lost a while ago, sadly. So, uh, well, right, okay, so the Slash Jessica, the story is apparently, I hope I haven't got this wrong, but I, allegedly this is true, in about 88, Gibson gave him a couple of uh, these guitars. Uh, and I believe they were kind of B-stock, if, if I've heard the story right, and um, because they weren't sure how... Big Guns and Roses and that big slash was going to be. Well, I think history's kind of proved uh, that one, that's for sure, because I love Slash's playing. I really, really do. Um, he's, he's a great, and he is a blues rock player. He, he's steeped in blues, he's playing. It's, it's just got an amazing feel, it really has. Um, so, and, and the new album that he's done is, is absolutely great at the moment, the blues one with the collaborations. So let's have a look at the guitar. So what we got starting at the top is our Gibson uh, own brand, but they're the Cluson style tuners, which work perfectly well, as we know, have done for years. This is based, I think, uh, and it's a Les Paul standard, obviously, but I, I, I think it's based on a 50s style, uh, and mainly because of this neck. Uh, but I think it's bigger than... <laughs> <laughs> than the 50 style neck. It is quite big. When I first picked it up, I thought, oh, blimey, right, okay. It's going to take a bit of getting used to, which it did. Um, I am a bit more used to it now. It's not my personal taste, but I've got very small hands. So if you've got bigger hands, I know a bigger neck, uh, and I'm, I'm assuming Slash has got quite big hands, I don't know. Uh, but it is quite chunky. Does that add to the sustain? Very possibly, I don't know. I'm not going to get involved in that. Um, I'm not going to go through loads of all the different tones and what have you. Most people know what a uh, Les Paul sounds like, but but the jam at the end, um, watch that. Just stick around for that, okay, because you'll see then the amount of tones that you can get out of this thing, you know, and by me playing and by Russ playing. So two different players as well. Uh, and all that was was it was my amp was mic'd up and it's just drive and compression. That is it, no other effects, okay? So we wanted to keep it nice and raw, as Slash plays. Um, he's not one for a lot of effects, uh, and nor have I ever been, if I'm honest. I have to use them sometimes for the different solos that I do, but there we go. So then we're coming down. Now, what is interesting, obviously it's uh, mahogany back, two piece for the looks of it. Uh, maple, proper maple top with our binding, um, three-piece top, which kind of goes in, so Gibson, I mean, it's a cheaper my manufacturing using three pieces, uh, but it actually looks really nice. Now, personally, I prefer a nice flame or a quilt. Everybody knows that. When Russ saw it, he said, no, I don't want that. I want it to look like that. And there is a nice bit of burl in it here and here. Um, and it is, it, the honey burst finish really shows it off. And, and it is lovely. Um, I am warming to it now. It's just that I'm, I'm a sucker for a nice flame top. Uh, and, and if and when, and hopefully I will, get my own custom one done in the future. Uh, it's bound to have a nice quilt probably because I, I do like that, okay. Um, but three piece top, uh, standard affair, obviously we've got, um, now that what is interesting, we'll have a look at the pickups here because these are our Nico 2, which I believe are slightly less hot. Now slightly less hot than what, I'm not sure because they are hot. This thing sings, and it really does sing, and the sustain on it is incredible. Uh, just think Spinal Tap for that. I, I think everybody knows the scene in that that I'm on about. Um, now, what worried me, I think, was that, okay, because first thing I did was put the distortion on and start shredding some slash licks, 
obviously. Um, and I thought, how's it going to clean up? Well, actually, really quite nicely. So with the volume even full up. But if you back it off, and I believe we've got the um, treble bleed on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we've got the treble bleed capacitors on there, which help. It sounds like it, that's for sure. Um, so it's really... Sounds really, really nice. It does clean up very well. Uh, even on the bridge pickup, obviously, that's not as distorted as I was expecting. Yet when you put the distortion on, it sounds really, really hot. So I'm not quite sure what they've done with these pickups, but um, they're really, really nice. I like them. They are hand-wound, apparently, to what slashes were in his uh, uh, original um, original Jessica. So actually, I mean, you don't necessarily buy a Les Paul for clean stuff, do you? Let's be honest. Um, but it does actually clean up really, really nicely. Okay, um, so I think when I do look at my uh, custom one, I think these will definitely be a contender. I don't think there's any um, question about that. Obviously, we've got our nice gloss finish, which I prefer, the nitro uh, gloss nitro finish, which is actually uh, really cool. Um, it is finished incredibly well. Um, fret ends are done really nicely. I believe that all the uh, American ones or all the premium ones go through the Plec machine. For those that don't know, a Plec machine actually uh, profiles the frets to within, I think, a hundredth of a mil or something. I've actually had some guitars done uh, on it, and I've got one that's ready to go with it as well. Um, I, I really like it. Some of them don't. I do. I think, you know, you can't beat a machine for that, if I'm honest. But it is, it's a good nine, ten pounds, I would say. But then that's kind of within the realm of what a Les Paul, I think, should be. It's not going to be a light guitar. Um, I know that sometimes they do the weight relief and that. I'm not sure. I, I, who knows? I'm not going to get arguing and whether this works and that works and whatever. I, I really don't want to know. All I do know is that this thing does sustain for days. It really does. We've got Charla locks already pre-installed, which I'm quite glad of. Um, they're the ones I normally use anyway, so I'll just put a strap sort of straight on. Uh, I know in the goodie bag, I've got a lone guitar, so it hasn't got all the bits in it, but I believe it, 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 I, it actually has got the multi-tool with the uh, truss rod. Key, uh, leather strap, uh, another blank truss rod cover if you want to keep this one safe. And I believe as well that they, they um, have a pick guard that you can install if you want. I believe someone said that. Now, I'm guessing they do. I don't know. I I had, I have one on a, a wine red 80s one, uh, or sorry, back in the 80s, uh, and I took it off anyway. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, again, that's just a personal sort of choice, really. Um, but there we go. So... If you're in the market for a really, really good Les Paul, and trust me, this one really is, and you can, um, well, if you're a Slash fan, then I suppose it's a must. But uh, if you like bigger necks, which I know a lot of people do, um, this will feel really, really comfortable to you. Like I say, I've actually got a, a bit, I was a little bit worried to start with, but uh, I soon alleviated that after a few days. You just adjust your playing style a bit, you know. Um, and, and a Les Paul does make you play uh, in a little bit more of a, I don't know, more of a classic rock style, I think I have. I've certainly been played. Anyway, so guys, please stick around now for the jam between me and Russ, and you'll see how good he is and how bad I am, I think. But there we go. All right then, guys. I'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>